What's up, everybody? Dread back at it again with another video. Today, we're going to be talking about something that I probably should have talked about a little while ago because it was a little bit related to the previous video, how an entire community got deleted overnight, but I just didn't have the time. I was a little bit lazy, and I'm kind of afraid to make this video, if I'm being honest, because this is a video where I'm going to be calling out someone, and that someone might actually be dirty enough to try and take down my video or my channel. So if you don't see this video or my channel, you'll probably know why. But luckily for me, I do have my connection, so if in the case that anything happens to my channel or my video i will be able to get it back let's hope it doesn't come to that but if it does you know damn well i am going to fight for this channel as i have done before in the past all right so let's go ahead and get into it so before the whole debacle that happened with the discord server which again if you want to watch that video to get you up to speed i'll have a link to it in the description or on the eye icon at the top right i had heard rumors that there was a lot of people that were actually stealing mods from that discord server but i really didn't think much of it because i was just worried about other things at the time and i'm not really someone who's like into mods so I really didn't understand the significance of it. Not saying that I like hate mods or anything like that. It's just I didn't deem it as like important until they really told me about it. Like they didn't come to me until I actually made that video. Because like a day afterwards, they came in to my Discord to tell me exactly what's going on and what happened. And while this was all going on, I was kind of wondering, did they ever actually tell the people that were at the head of the now deleted Discord at the time? And they said that they did, but that the people that were in charge really didn't do anything about it. So not only were they taking other people's mods but also putting it back up on the server and saying it's theirs re-advertising it right in front of the modder's face pretty much and so now i'm like well shit this seriously needs to be said because this is freaking ridiculous and uh yeah this goes a lot deeper because there is a website that is called ready or not modifications or ronmods.com apparently this is actually a website that's being advertised by a bunch of youtubers saying that this website is legitimate well i'm gonna have to stop you right there because this website is definitely not legitimate if there is a youtuber that you know that is advertising this website you need to tell them to stop it right now because this website is harboring stolen mods i know because i've actually talked to the mod creators and they said that they did not give this website permission to take down their mods from the nexus and put it up on their website sure the website might say that the mod was made by a specific person that was the actual mod creator but they did not get permission from that person to put it up on their website for example this mod was created by a person named ryuka there are actually multiple mods by this person on this website but ryuka has actually come out and ask these people to take their mod off of their website via email because they didn't get Ryuka's permission. Ryuka since then has actually posted a video about this and I'll have a link to that in the description if you want to watch it. But Ryuka is not the only one that's had this happen to them. There's also this other person named Akira who also has some of their mods on this website too without their permission. Also, Akira went onto their website to tell them in the comment section of his own mod to take down the mod and the people on the website just deleted the freaking comment. Yeah. A real class act, these ones. Before I go any further, be sure to not go onto this website to try and comment or anything like that because it requires you to put in a bunch of personal information and who knows what they're gonna do with all that. Of course, shady websites would freaking make you put in personal information just to write down a comment. But anyways, here's another example. SWAT Rams with SWAT Ram on the Nexus, downloaded and re-uploaded on their website. Another example, replaces the SWAT operators with the United Security or USEC, PMCs of Escape from Tarkov, also downloaded and uploaded on this website without the creator's permission, of course. One of my subscribers has actually compiled a list of things that have been stolen from Nexus and put up on this website. I will have a link to that in the description or in the comments section for you to take a look at. There's quite a bit, so have fun. One thing that we started to notice about the mods on the website is that the people that are behind it seem to be changing the names of the mods, so it doesn't seem like they're outright stealing it, but we already know. Ain't no point in hiding it, especially with the freaking supposed Discord that these guys are using. The Discord that's there to help you if there's an issue with a particular mod but if you click on the link it just takes you to the official discord and not their supposed discord that they own so when somebody's trying to ask what the hell's going on with their mod people are just confused because one that's the official discord not the ron mod discord and even then they just downloaded a mod from a scummy website so who knows what's actually wrong with their download now some of you are probably thinking to yourselves okay so why is this a big deal they're just mods well yeah sure but the modders actually have a good number of reasons as to why they want to get it off this website one being the people who have downloaded loaded the mods from that website have noticed that the file sizes for some mods is different than the original one on the nexus and that's because some of these mods could be spliced with malware which if you don't know what malware is it's a software that specifically is designed to disrupt damage or gain unauthorized access to your computer and also could be used to install a cryptocurrency miner to mine bitcoin from your computer so if you've ever downloaded any of these mods from this website and you started to notice that your computer is working like extra hard like you can actually hear your fans going
going when you're running these mods, you might want to look into that. So yes, this is definitely stuff that you don't want on your computer. Now, to be fair, I've heard quite a bit of rumors of this actually happening to people when they download these mods, and I am inclined to believe it, but unfortunately, I just don't have any actual evidence of that happening to anyone. I'd find out for myself if that was actually true, but I just don't feel like downloading stolen mods from a random website that's not the original creators. But nobody just steals free mods for no reason, right? There's gotta be something going on, right? Well, subscribers have actually proven to me that the mods that were uploaded to this website don't actually function correctly when you download it and try to use it for yourself from this website. Like lewd SCP's Deagle at some point was uploaded to this website and somebody had actually downloaded it and tried to use it and it ended up crashing his game. Whereas the one that was downloaded from the correct website worked just fine. It turns out that the person who owns the website and doesn't own the mods doesn't update the mods so that the mod doesn't function correctly with the newer build of of the game and of course it's gonna mess up the game in some way so instead of trying to fix it or update it he just deletes it so i don't know how often that happens but it seems like if there's a problem with the mod he doesn't really seem to solve it he just deletes it and go finds another one so not only does this website have stolen mods but the mods themselves might also not even function correctly and could have malware and things that might mine things from your computer but there's also incentive to take these mods and here to explain that is the new owner of the readier mod discord that was created after the whole debacle with the previous one. I'm Jen. I'm the uh, owner of the Kerr mod. I just took it over from Mallow. Put the community back together. So Ron Mods has been a thorn in the modding community's side since Mallow's reign. Basically, from what I know, there was just numerous complaints of them taking mods. I had my own mods taken by them. And so what they do now, they weren't making money off ads on the website because people were using ad blockers. So now they, uh, if you go to download their mods, it brings you to a website called uh, modsfile.com. They get paid based on downloads. That's how this website works because the website adds ads and all that type of crap for modding. So not only are they making money from the ads on that website, they're getting paid for those downloads people are using. People are oblivious to this. They have no fucking clue. We've tried contacting them. They don't answer any emails, nor they do on Twitter. Other uh, Twitter's basically dead as well. So they have an incentive to download freed mods. Uh, yeah just downloading mods. Do you think they make a decent chunk off of those downloads? Yeah, they make a, so many mods and I've seen it on YouTube, people downloading shilling this website that they're probably making a good chunk. And they have no permission to upload these mods to their website. Oh, they have no permission to do whatsoever. A lot of my mods on this website that I don't want to be on that website, like my JDSF overhauls and my Terminator stuff, all on that website as well as some other stuff. As soon as the server shut down, the wood one, they uh they stopped. They went like dark. As soon as the new pop up, they've already gone back at it. So my stuff's on there, Mallow's stuff's on there. Like Mallow's map, is a paid asset. I don't know how Unity works, but that's a paid store asset, which is how she was doing it, which is perfectly legal. She can do that because she bought it, but she's not redistributing it as a paid content, but they're redistributing it and making money off that, which is a big no-no for even on real stuff. That's that's no. For other stuff, it's probably the same way. I don't know how many, how many other mods are probably using paid stuff. So that's crazy. They took free mods that have paid mods in them and they're reselling those paid mods that are combined with the free mods. So that's illegal. Wow, thanks for the information, man. No problem. So, uh, yeah, what a bombshell. Again, if anybody is using this website, you really shouldn't, because it's definitely not legitimate. So that was your awareness video of the day. What are your guys' thoughts? Tell me what you think down below, because I'm going to end the video here. If you enjoyed the fact that I'm cracking down on frauds, then be sure to like up the video, share the video, and comment down below. If you're someone that would like to support the channel, check out my Patreon or click on the join button that's underneath the video. If you're someone that's new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and ding that bell so that you can get more content on Ready or Not or any other game that I decide to cover. Without all being said, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.